So I have another haul video for you and this time it is from Too Cool For School. So like I did with my face shop haul, I'm going to go through the products really quickly. I'm going to swatch them for you. And if there's any products you see that you're like, Inga, I want to see a review now, I will try to review them for you guys in the future. So I'm going to start with the skin products I got. The first one is the Pumpkin Sleeping Pack. Now I have used this one already one time. My face feels very moisturized. I picked this up because there's a lot of hype on it. So if you guys want to know how it's been working for me over a longer period of time, just let me know. I don't have a ton of need for it right now because it is so humid here in Korea. But so far, it's not bad. With the pumpkin sleeping pack, I also picked up two of the face masks, the 24 karat gold face masks. I don't know if they actually are gold. I kind of really hope that they are. Um, and I obviously, I haven't tried them yet, but I picked them up. So we'll see how those go. The next product I picked up was the Egg Mousse Pack. Now I picked this product up also because there's a lot of hype on it and I'm excited to try it and I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to try it. Uh, I think it's just supposed to be moisturizing and smoothing and things like that. But the fact that it has, it's called the Egg Mousse Pack also makes me wonder if maybe it's tightening. So we'll see if it is or not because I do love myself a tightening mask. I also picked up the Coconut Milky Mist and so far I have I have used this and so far I really like it. Um, I feel like it really is moisturizing and it smells so good. <laughs> I also really like the fact that when you spray it it's a really fine mist. I feel like a lot of times when you have a mist that is in a bottle like this it can't sometimes it doesn't spray very fine. But this one does and I also really like the packaging with the the matte bottle and then the coconuts with that they also gave me a sheet mask I got this for free with it it was kind of like a set deal thing they were doing and I haven't tried it yet but it is it says it's coconut ceramide and ceramide is moisturizing so this might be something that I use more in the future when it starts to get dry or maybe in the fall we'll see how it works out the last skincare product I got was actually a free thing that they gave me because I bought too much stuff and that is the Angel Hand Cream and I haven't tried it yet but it's hand cream and you can never go wrong with too much hand cream. I love hand creams and they are a staple in my purse so now I have another one. On to the makeup products. So the first product I got was the Too Cool For School Highlighter. Someone had once asked me a long time ago if I could do a comparison between this one and the Shinnim highlighter and I hadn't picked it up yet so now I actually do have it and the thing I can tell you is the packaging is a little deceiving. It looks really pink but if you look at the highlighter, the highlighter itself is gold and more bronzy and then a brownish. So I feel like this would work better for people who have a darker skin tone just because of the darker um, bronzy shade. Okay, so let me do a swatch for you guys real quick. The darkest shade in the highlighter is this. Middle shade looks like this and the lightest shade is right here. So if you guys can see, it's got a really good glow and a really good shine. Plus, because these are a little warmer, I feel like they would work better for people who have a little bit more tan skin. I don't know how they would work for you ladies with the beautiful dark skin, um, but I'm assuming that this one might not be too bad because it is a darker color. However, if you see it on my hand, it does show up a little lighter. Overall, so far, just from the swatch, this seems really well. I haven't actually gone out and used this yet because I wanted to do the haul video first. So I'm going to keep zoomed in here and I'm going to show you my next product which is new from Too Cool For School. Get excited because guess who came out with a blush? This is the Art Class by Rodin blush. This time I can tell you the packaging does not mislead because the shade in this is very orange and peach. So I can tell you these are really highly pigmented colors. Um, I'm gonna swatch over my shimmer. If you guys can see, I feel like when I swatched this on my face, you can really see it, but I do have to say these are definitely 
light colors. So although in the packaging it looks a little bit more dark, especially this side, if you can see it swatched on my hand here, that darker color is still really light when it's swatched on the skin. So I feel like even though this is really pretty and the pigmentation is really good, it still might not work for people who have a little bit more tan skin because of the fact that it does lean more towards the pastel side. However, I just think that the whole color range is just beautiful with it and it's great for summer. And you've got, on this side it leans more towards the yellow and peach color and on this side you've got a little bit more pink so I think that's really nice as well. So far I really like it and it came with a brush. If you end up buying this online and it comes with a brush, I can tell you I'm not a huge fan of the brush because the brush is really dense and not very fluffy. So I feel like this is a really good maybe contouring brush or highlighting brush because it's a little smaller. But for a blush brush, it's hard to really emphasize and, and cover enough area because it's so small. Although I do think it's cute and it's handy and this is probably something I would put in my purse to contour with because it does pick up a lot of product like a lot of product. It definitely disperses some color on your face. <laughs> because I bought those two, they also gave me this right here, and this is just a mirror. It's a Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin mirror for your purse. I thought that was pretty cute, and I have the whole set now, so can't go too wrong, right? Another product I got is this right here. This is a mascara, and this is the color of it. It's like this beautiful foresty blue green and I actually really like the mascara as well. So I wore this out and it didn't transfer underneath my eyes, although I feel like I do need to wear it out more for me to give you an accurate like, it won't transfer. So don't take my word 100% on that, but I love this color, especially for fall. I think this would be amazing. Or if you like to do that kind of baddie Instagram makeup where you do a little contour and then the black liner and a little a, a, a nude lip that's a little overlined, I think this would add a really great pop of color without going too overboard. The last product I got is this right here. So this is from their Dinoplatz series. And first I have to open this. You open it up and you have a mirror and three colors. So this right here is supposed to be contour. This is the blush and this is the highlighter. Now let's watch this for you guys real quick. The highlighter is a really light highlighter. This is not going to work very well for someone who has a lot of darker skin because it's a really, it, I mean, it's white. It's white with yellow um, reflection. The blush is a really pretty peach color. It has shimmer to it though, so if you have larger pores on your cheeks, this will emphasize that. But I feel like the color is really pretty for spring. And the shading color is this right here. I don't see this as a shading color for me. I would definitely use this as a bronzer. And as a bronzer, this to me is amazing. I love it as a bronzer but I hate it for shading. I feel like it's warm, so this might work if you have more yellow toned skin. But what I really feel about this is that as a shading, I don't think it's dark enough or pigmented enough for people who have a little darker skin, but for those of us who have lighter skin, I think this makes a really nice bronzer, also because this one is matte. So what I also really like about this is it pulls out and you get a little double-ended travel brush. You have in this, you have an angled side for more contouring, and then you have a just regular flat kind of bushy brush. Again, I think this is not big enough to really be effective. This angled brush does feel really nice, but again, I would probably just use this to highlight, and I feel like this is just a little too flat to be super effective as anything except maybe to pat highlight on but I do think it is a cute brush and the quality of the bristles feels nice. So that's all I have for you guys for my Too Cool For School haul. They are one of my favorite brands just because the packaging that they have is super cute and of course everyone knows about their Art Class by Rodin contouring powder. It is amazing. I have it right here. I love it. I always have loved it and it's got a nice little dent in the middle. I know you guys probably can't see that but there's a dent. There's a dent. 
So as always, please check me out on Instagram. I also started a Snapchat, so if you look at my Instagram, my Snapchat name is the same as my Instagram name. I'm really gonna try to start taking more snaps and more Snapchats and so you can see more of my life. I think it's a really great way that before I leave Korea that you can really experience all of the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. And like I say in every video, if there's any requests or certain things you really want to see, just leave it down in the comment box below and I will try to do a review of it as soon as I can. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Hey everyone! So it is time for my July favorites. I know I look a little bit like a hot mess right now, but I'm getting ready to kind of leave Korea. Don't worry, I'll still be doing Korean reviews and makeup and all that as usual, but it's time for me to go home to the USA. So I am cleaning, which is why I have my hot dog cotton on cleaning gear on.